Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Friday, the 25th of March, 2022. It's our worship on Wonders Night today. And I believe that you'll get set wherever you are in the Abuja environment to be there physically. It's going to be healing, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders, powerful word, powerful time of worship, and you can't be the same. Praise the Lord. Our topic today is the power of the anointing. The Bible says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Remember that's what we read yesterday, Acts 10, 38. We'll read it again today because it's very relevant to our discussion today. Now we understand our thought for the day says that if the anointing is upon you, you can use a hammer to do the work of a bulldozer. Yes. That is, you are amplified. Your life is amplified. It is evident in every history-making manifestation in scriptures that it was preceded and powered by the anointing. Moses was anointed at the flames of the burning bush in the wilderness, in the backside of the wilderness, where the aimless, aimless rod in his hand became a rod of power. It was the anointing that brought men out of obscurity, out of where the devil had kept them, out of where satanic limitations had kept them, to limelight. So before Saul, for example, became king of Israel, he was roaming all around, up and down the mountains of Israel, looking for what he thought was missing. That was his father's missing donkeys. He wandered up and down until he encountered the prophet Samuel and the man with the oil was the person that anointed him. His encounter with the anointing ended his wandering forever. It was the anointing that turned a wanderer into a wonder. First Samuel 10, 1 to 10, you can read that up when you get um, the opportunity. The anointing also imparts supernatural energy and amplifies human effort. Matthew chapter 15 verse 32. So if the anointing is upon you, you can use a hammer to do the work of a bulldozer. If the anointing is on a tadpole, it would sink a shark. The anointing imparts supernatural strength, unbeatable mental strength, unusual physical stamina, brutal aggressive spiritual fervency, a realm and a dimension that frustrates and mesmerizes the powers of darkness. Jesus carried it and he stood for 72 hours on his feet preaching. You can read that up in Matthew chapter 15 verse 32. Catherine Coleman carried that anointing and she walked beyond 18 hours daily. At times she would stand on her feet for six hours non-stop while the ministrations were going on. Samson had this supernatural energy and strength and he killed the lion with such unusual speed without telling his parents about it and of course to him it was not a testimony it was just something you see that in Judges 14 5 to 6 so beloved make demands on God for the anointing to change your life situations remember this that if the anointing is upon you you can use a hammer to do the work of a bulldozer. Isn't that awesome? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What's our assignment today? Number one, pray in the Holy Ghost fervently. Number two, map out a schedule where you engage in periodic fasting and prayer. And number three, make demands on the anointing of the Holy Ghost to come upon your life. Praise God. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord. I surrender all to you. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost rest on me and make me a wonder to my generation. Oh God, in Jesus' name, praise God. Hallelujah. Let me share another amazing fact with you today. You remember yesterday we, we said that the Bible is the best seller of all times. Over 5 billion copies having been sold if we have a fair estimate. Well, today I want to tell you about eagles 
that they are loyal birds and when they mate, it is for life. The only time they tend to find a new partner is if their former one dies, which is rarely the case because they both live very, very, very long to a good old age. Praise the Lord. Stay pure, stay integrity. That is the secret of being a high flyer like an eagle. Praise God. I'd like to pray for you today. You'd like to be born again? Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I pray for you today and I declare the release of fresh fire and grace upon your life in Jesus' name. God bless you. I pray for you and I wish you a happy birthday. As your day, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord.